What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Behind me, I have the 2023 Keystone Bullet Premier 25 FK PR. This is Bullet's new front kitchen model with a king bed slide here. And this is gonna be, I think, right under 30 feet in total length, if I remember correctly. So it's getting dark here, but I think we have enough light out here to be able to see everything. As you can see, we still have people running in and out of this trailer here. But I was really excited about this one. You also have a front windshield here. It's gonna be a great, lightweight front kitchen model with a king bed in the slide so i'm really excited to show it to y'all let's go hey welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you do get something out of this video consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms links to my instagram tiktok and facebook are down below in the description where you can find other rv related content that i upload regularly and then finally if you are interested in this rv Keep in mind, I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe, and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, so this is the 2023 Keystone Bullet Premier 25 FK PR. PR just stands for Premier. And can we just appreciate the sunset going on in the background real quick? I'm out here in Indiana at the RV Hall of Fame for this. Um, open house basically which is where all the manufacturers have all their brand new 2023 models on display for dealerships to come and take a look at different 2023 models so that they can place their order now really appreciative of them getting me out here and being a part of this because this is something where usually it's just like owners and people of different dealerships that come out here to look at this stuff and not you know just an ordinary salesperson like me so really appreciate them allowing me to come out here and film a lot of these different RVs. This is the one I've been really excited about. This actually came out in 2022. I just never happened to get one in in time. But they have changed the graphic up front from what the 2022 was, where you have a full profile, or not full profile, a full one piece fiberglass front cap. I say full profile because I've filmed so many fifth wheels out here too. But this fiberglass front cap, you have this painted on rock guard here. So that is gonna be down through the front there for that rock guard. And this is all one piece there on that really solid fiberglass front cap. And then you have the automotive grade windshield there as well up front. And you will have a privacy curtain that comes down there. Interesting seeing it at night so you can actually see what it looks like looking into the trailer at night. I um, am never at my lot at times where the lighting is like this. So this is really my first time filming an RV with this, you know, under these kind of conditions. Um, let's look at the layout here real quick and the specs. So you can see here what the floor plan layout looks like. You have a king size bed in the slide out, your front kitchen up here. And then look at those dimensions. It's a 70 by 80 king size bed. You have, um, in this model, you have the uh, cinema recliners, but you can also get a trifold sofa directly across from the TV. And then here's your specs there on this model. Now, the biggest thing is all of the 2023 Keystone RVs are coming with the tankless water heater. So that's gonna give you unlimited hot water. And the only one in, within the Keystone lineup not coming with a tankless water heater is Montana, who will be doing a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. Um, this is that full molded fiberglass front cap I was talking about there. And then you have um, the Norco frame on here, which has all the huck bolt connections on there. So really strong connection, definitely a lot stronger than a weld with a lot of the connections on the frame there and a very lightweight frame. And this does have two lithium batteries installed on it as well. So that's something that's gonna be on every single Keystone RV for 2023 where hard to see, but you have the two lithium batteries here back in this little compartment back in there. So you'll, your battery disconnect switch will be right next to those batteries as well. Two, 20, uh, two 20 pound propane bottles and a power tongue jack up front. 
Let's go back to the other side real quick so you can see what's going on on the other side. It's gonna be hard to see because there's not a whole lot of light over here, but you have two slide outs on this side. So you have your living room slide and your bedroom slide. You will have storage underneath the bed there and you do have access to storage on this side as well. And I believe your water connections actually are going to be in this area here. Yep, all your water connections down in here as well. And it does have a light, so let me, you have your latch here to hold that in place and then get the light on, there we go. Man, it's amazing what light does. You can see everything now. Cool, you have your extend and retract for your front and rear stabilizers there and then close this up. And you can see here with the light there, you have the cable driven slide out mechanisms on your slides. So those are push and pull at all four corners evenly when you move those slides in and out. Coming back around to this side, it's gonna to be tough to see anything underneath the RV, but you do have all your water tanks and water lines sitting above the enclosed underbelly there. So fully enclosed, your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in there. So when you have your propane furnace running, that will also be sending heat into that area to keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing. Have your storage all the way back through there. You can see some stuff kind of set up in here. And then you can see this has a 400 watt solar system. So it has that 30 amp solar charge controller. And then it has uh, this here where you can turn off or disable the power from the solar charging the battery. You have the prep cover here to add on a tire pressure monitoring system here. And then you have your light for up front. It's prepped for a second inverter. If you wanted to have an inverter that is going to the AC to power one AC off of the solar, pa uh, solar panels. And then you have your big inverter here that is working with that 400 watt solar system already. So that's your front storage compartment, solid slam latch door on there. That's gonna be something that separates this from like you have your bullet here and then the bullet crossfire. These are the two, it goes bullet crossfire, then bullet, and then bullet premier. So this is the highest of the three. All three lines from one brand within Keystone, which is bullet, but even the bullet, which is a step below, you can see it's a three quarter fiberglass front cap and then it's cut right there and then you don't have slam latch baggage doors on a bullet so getting a, li a little bit more premium features on here you have your awning here that covers almost the entire length of the rv and then you can see how those led lights really just light up that space there and this is finally giving people a chance just to see how bright these led lights are on all of these trailers they definitely light up the space really well on every single one of these this one doesn't have them on of course but lights up the space really well Two ACs on this model, so you'll have both ACs up on the roof. It does have a barreled ceiling as well, so you have that curve on the roof, and then you have your 400 watts of solar up there. Prep for a backup camera back here as well, and then you have your brake lights on the back with a spare tire on the back, and you do have storage down in the sewer compartment, or not, not in the sewer compartment, in the bumper where a lot of people store their sewer hoses was what I was getting at there. All right, let's head inside. And you can see here, it is the 25 FK PR. Again, PR just stands for uh, Premier. So it's a 25 front kitchen, has the 400 watts of solar on it, has a 30,000 BTU furnace, have hookups here for a TV as well. So if you want to put a TV outside, you can do that. And you do have your outdoor speakers, one here and one there behind the door. Screen doors with the screen assist bar here when you enter in and then as soon as you walk in, let's just look around and we'll come back to that pantry. You're going to have your recliners there, your dining room table there, and then a beautiful looking front kitchen here. Lots of countertop space, goes very far back into this corner. You have the windshield here and it should have, oh, you know what? Huh, 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 huh. I'm gonna have to ask about this because there is no curtain here. There is no privacy curtain. So that is interesting. If that's the case, um, did not expect that. Well, that's something I guess we'll have to figure out and see if there's something that is different there that maybe isn't there. Cause sometimes they don't have these models fully equipped with every piece of equipment that they have on display here as what will be in production when they actually get sent out to dealerships. So maybe that will change. And here you're gonna have some additional pantry space outlet here with the inverted connection there so that will run off that 400 watt solar system really nice little shelf storage space up in here and then these are all solid surface countertops pretty neat as well all of this goes down into the pass-through storage compartment so you have access to that from here as well and you have a nice big shelf there 
stainless steel single basin sink. Um, Keystone actually is also gonna have this owner's app here. A lot of different cool stuff on there, some instructional videos, some ownership videos, manuals. And then one thing that's really cool that Keystone is doing too that's nice is a lot of warranty work that's little things like say maybe, let's say your hinge here just broke or something like that and you need to get a new one. You actually can send a picture of things like that now to Keystone and they can send you the parts directly to your house. So you don't have to go through a dealership to fix little things like that. That is gonna be really big for a lot of people as well and I'm really excited that they are implementing that. Honestly, it makes someone like my life easier because then you have that solution where you can take care of little stuff if something breaks here or there without having to come into the dealership. You have a nice big drawer there. You'll have four of those. You do have the pop-up outlets and USB ports that this is inverted as well. And this does have a USB type C plug on there as well. You have a window out to your campsite here. You have the Furion three burner cooktop. And then you'll have your Furion oven down in there. You have the low profile vent hood. So this will vent out any smells from this area. And then you have the Furion microwave up above it. That's an RV size microwave. Um, this will, why did I get confused on that? Almost tried to open it up from the wrong side. 12 volt refrigerator. So plenty of room in there. This is pretty much what we're used to seeing in travel trailers at this point where you have that 12 volt refrigerator. And then you have another pantry space right here that has three shelves that gives you a nice big pantry area. As soon as you walk in, you have your light controls here, your tank levels, your awnings and slide outs, power for your tankless water heater and heat going to your battery because you're not supposed to charge lithium batteries below freezing temperatures. So you flip that on and that will send heat to your battery so that they don't get damaged if you are in below freezing temperatures when they're charging. Nice big seats here from the Thomas Payne collection. So these give you the really big armrest. You're gonna have storage under that armrest, in the middle and under that armrest as well. And then really big seats that are there that are going to recline as well. You have this kind of plastic woven material here. So no carpet in the slide out. This is a very rigid, strong material there, very flexible as well. And then as Keystone always does, you have a fully wrapped subflooring underneath here. So your subflooring is wrapped under there for another layer of protection underneath there as well, where a lot of other brands don't do that. A lot of brands still using carpet in the slides as well, which I don't think that's in a single Keystone brand RV at this point. So no carpet in the slides there. Your dining room table, this is actually secured to the sidewall. So it's a legless table. If you wanted to take this out and put something else here, very easy to do so. Um, and then you have the chairs that all go with it and nothing special going on with the chairs here. But this table looks really nice. Definitely like the color of that there. And it does match the trim piece that they changed in the slide out there to give it a little bit more pop. You do have a vent opening right here. No fan on it though, but just a vent. And then you have your AC system right here in the middle. And then you have your entertainment area directly across from your recliner seats. So when you sit down here, you can see you have a nice good view of the TV if you're sitting there watching TV. And then you have your storage here. Now, if you're wondering if these actually put out a good amount of heat, it is pretty cold out here actually. It's definitely dropped below 50 degrees. And just sitting here, I could tell this would be all the heat that I would need. I probably wouldn't need any additional heat other than just this. Now, maybe if I was going back into the bedroom and going to sleep, I might need to turn on the furnace, but this definitely does the job for keeping you warm just sitting in the recliners without a doubt. This here is a, I want to say this is the 12 volt. Uh, yeah, this is a 12 volt TV here. So 12 volt TV, it has a sound bar built in here as well. And you can connect your phone to that. You have storage up above here with the glass finish up there. And then back in here, you have another pantry space all through here. And it does also have a clothing rod there. So you can put jackets in there if you want, take out shelves and things along those lines. You also have a little cubby underneath there. I'm gonna close this door real quick because that goes to the bedroom. And here you have your bathroom, let's get the light on, with a porcelain toilet, good amount of countertop space, all this shelving space there. You have your medicine cabinet and then you have your shower. Barreled ceiling, gonna give you an added ceiling height. This stuff does have about an eight inch deep tub. So if you plug that drain, you can get a little bit of a tub going on there if you have little kids. And then standing in the shower, let's get this 
up here. Um, ceiling height is about 6'2 to this back wall where the curve comes down. So I have to, my head barely touches right here and then coming up, I would say it's about 6'5 right here. Plus you have probably up to like 6'7 or so in the skylight. So plenty of room to sit in here. This sits about at the peak of my forehead. So I wouldn't really have to duck to get under that too much either, which I appreciate. Step out of here, you have your inverted outlet in the bathroom, storage in the medicine cabinet, vent fan up above, and storage down beneath here. Then as we go to the back, you're gonna have your king size bed in the slide out here. So king size bed here, in the slide out, lots of floor space to get around. You have the second entrance into this room. As you can see, I was kind of stepping out there. Have a mirror in here for some decor, give you a bigger feel in here as well. Second AC back here, barreled ceiling for lots of ceiling height. And then you have all your storage here back in the back bedroom. So this will be two shelf system there, four pull out drawers. Open that up, you have another closet space here. Those latches are very tough, so that's good. They won't pop open on you while you're going down the road. And then more storage down underneath there. Nice big back window. You do have pull down blackout shades on all your windows in this model. Even have a nice little table side stand right there. And then you have more storage up above the bed as well. So this should be unobstructed all the way through. Yep, sure is. Put those three drawers there and then your windows on both sides of the bed with a bed that will flip up and you have your storage all back through here. So you'll be able to get to your storage down underneath there. Tony or definitely tons of room there. And that does go to the outside access storage door that you have from the outside. So a really nice bedroom setup. Definitely a new floor plan from Keystone Bullet with this Premier line spot for a TV on the wall there. And then come back through here, you'll see going back into your living room, what that looks like. Really love the front kitchen setup. Want to talk about some construction elements real quick. This does have the hyper deck flooring. So you have that flooring underneath this layer of vinyl cover there that is about this thick. And you'll be able to see it on the screen there. It has polypropylene and fiberglass layers. That polypropylene layer is very strong. It's definitely stronger than wood. And then it's a lot more lightweight than wood. And then you have a two pound condensed block foam layer of insulation in there as well that's also very solid makes this super lightweight much more lightweight than wood makes it water resistant so you won't have the same um, floor issues if your floor gets exposed to water or anything like that and is a really great flooring system that keystone has gone to just want to make sure you knew about that as well and that is pretty much everything in this bullet premiere all right y'all that's all i got for you hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you are interested in this rv keep in mind i am in a sales position and would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making this rv yours or maybe any rv that you've seen so if you are interested in this model go down to the link below down below in the description it'll be the first link down there you will find my rv inquiry form and if you select the mesquite location where i'm located at you will be able to leave your contact information there for me. It will go directly into my inbox. And as soon as I'm available, I'll get in touch with you and see what we can do to help you get into one of these bullet premieres here. So that's all I got for y'all. If I can help you out, let me know what I can do. Any questions or comments or anything I missed, let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.